In an earlier video, we took a look at the basics of creating and using component interfaces. In this video, we'll take a look at some advanced functionality. First off, you can create component interfaces while you're assembling components. So let me click the assemble button and I'm going to grab a clip part. And let me just drop it on the screen over here. And for my constraints, let's select that cylindrical surface and that cylindrical surface. And then let's select this surface and this surface. And let's make that coincident. And let's flip it. And the last one, let's uncheck this allow assumption so I can get it pointing in the correct direction. I'm going to add a new constraint, which is going to be parallel between this surface and a flat surface. Now that I've got that placed the way that I want, if I hold down the right mouse button in the pop-up menu, you'll see the option to save as interface. And I can give it a name. I'm going to call it place. And click the OK button. And hit the check mark. And now when we take a look at that component, here in the footer, I can expand interfaces, and there is the component interface that I just stored in the model. That's great. Let's go back to the assembly, and I'm going to assemble the clip again. And here we have the component interface. Let's select surface, surface, and then surface. And I like the way that it's in there. At this point, I can hold down the right mouse button and choose new location to place it again, or hit the check, check mark or middle mouse button to finish placement. Next, let's take a look at creating receiving interfaces in a model. So I've got an assembly open, I've got a plate part, and I want to define interfaces that will allow other components be, to be assembled to the plate. Let's open up the plate in its own separate window. And I always like to figure out which one is the lead instance. And I can see that this one is highlighted over here. So for creating a component interface, we'll click on the icon in the ribbon. And for the name, I'm going to change this to be called receiving. And from the drop down list, I can say that this is going to be purely for receiving. It'll no longer be the default interface. I will click yes to accept that. And for the constraints, we'll use a cylindrical surface and this flat surface, then hit the check mark. And if you take a look at the model tree, when you create receiving interfaces, for some reason they end up in the main body of the model tree. But if you want, you can right click and move it to the footer. And that hole is a member of a pattern. So I can select my interface and then choose to pattern it and it will reference pattern it so you'll see that every single hole in the pattern is going to receive that interface you can click on any of the preview dots if for some reason you didn't want certain ones of those holes to receive the component interface but i'm happy with that so i will hit the check mark and we've got our plate with the pattern of component interfaces let's go back here i have a bolt that i'm going to assemble into it and it's got a couple of component interfaces for placing it. So now I'm back to the assembly. Let's hit the assemble button to assemble that bolt. And right now my method for placing is interface to geometry. But if I go to this drop down list, I can change to interface to interface. And now it says, hey, in the assembly, we've got all those different locations where we have component interfaces. And I can click on any of these different dots for where I want to place the component. Select the ones that I want. And then when I'm happy, I can hit the check mark. And that way I got a number of instances assembled at one time because of that receiving interface. All right. Next up, let's take a look at some of the different options available. If I go to File Options and then Assembly, 
Scroll down a little bit and we have two different areas with options in here. First off, component placement interface control. And for automatic pl component placement, use this interface. Right now I have it set to default. You can change it to none if you don't want to use interfaces or you could change to from list. In this case, let's click the OK button. And I'm not going to save it in my config.profile. But now when I go to assemble that bolt, you'll notice I get a dialog box that allows me to select whether I want no interface or I could use the default interface and the other interface that's defined in the model. If I just click the OK button, then it will only allow me to place one instance of the component but if I click the multiple button, it'll allow me to place multiple instances of this component at this time. All right, let's cancel out of there. Let's take a look at some of the other different options. File, options, assembly again, scroll down. There's also this option to create temporary interfaces when you are placing a component. In other words, the first time that you assemble a component during your session of Creo Parametric, it's going to remember how you assembled that component and it's going to allow to, you to use those same constraints over and over again in that session of Creo Parametric. And by the way, this is controlled by a config.pro option called create underscore temp underscore interfaces. And the next one underneath here is place default component interface using and from the drop down list we can choose multiple locations or single location. Now be aware that both the first one in here the where I could choose from list default or none and multiple locations and single location those are actually controlled by a single config.pro option and the config.pro option is comp assemble with interface. There's also this automatic placement option. When you are assembling a component, there's an auto place button on the ribbon. And I have difficulty using that, so I didn't show that, but you can control the number of suggestions that Creo Parametric is going to give to you. That's controlled by the config.pro option, auto place max number. We also have this option here show only matches that do not interfere with other components. Uh, this one, I can't remember what that config.pro option that one is. The next one, check criteria match of a component interface reference during a search. That corresponds to the check interface criteria config.pro option. You can include submodel interfaces as possible references for interface to interface placement. That one is include underscore sub underscore model underscore interfaces. Ignore non-displayed items during a search. That's another option. Uh, the search area for as percentage of the component size, you can see the config.pro option for that. Search area for comp interfaces. And we also have the option when dragging single component assemble to the closest component. And that corresponds to auto place underscore single underscore comp. Let's go to the configuration editor. I just want to show you uh, some other ones. For example, comp interface placement. I have that set to interface to geom as opposed to the default interface to interface. I just find that a lot of times you don't have receiving interfaces defined in models. So I prefer to jump right to interface to geom. Uh, also, to mention a few other ones, if you click the Find button, type in the search term. Interface is a good one for finding the different ones. And then you can check the box for search descriptions and some of the other different ones that we have in here. So, for example, I mentioned check interface criteria. Here is the auto place single component. Comp assemble with interface. Here, if I go to the drop down list, you can see that there's none, default multi, default single, or from list. Again, it's like two different options in file options assembly are covered by this one config.pro option. Uh, comp interface placement, that's one that I already mentioned I have set. Here's the create temp interfaces, interface criteria mismatch. Uh, let's see any other ones I want to point out in here. Search area for comp interfaces. So again, interface is a good keyword. Another good keyword for searching on is place 
in order to locate these. You're going to get a lot more in here, but here we have auto place max number. Let's see, comp interface placement, already covered that one a couple times. Comp placement assumptions, I have that set to yes. Uh, that way, if uh, you are assembling a component with the interface by default, it'll check the box to allow assumptions. And let's see, again, just there are a lot of different options in here, but here's include submodel interfaces as well. And search area for comp interfaces. So again, there's a bunch of different config op pro options that control how your component interfaces are used during your session. And they will also control, for example, when you're assembling a component. Let me just show that. When I click the assemble button, and I grab, let me just grab this part over here. Over on the options tab, we have another uh, other different options. It'll control the default setting for whether these are checked or not. But again, during the assembly process, you can turn these on or off depending on how you want Creo Parametric to behave. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something during this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.